Good morning, Rick Stein here again, RLS Properties. Again with my friend Adam Cool, my general contractor. Morning. So Adam, I have a question for you. If you were going to choose a general contractor, there are certain things that you're going to look for. Of course, you're going to look for areas of expertise. Yes. But you also have to protect yourself. Correct. So what would you advise someone who is searching to be the general contractor to their team what would be some of those qualifications that you would look for? Uh, so as a general contractor who has been doing this for some time, things uh, out of the gate, you, you want to have general questions of do they have insurance? You know, how long have they been in business? Um, you know, can they give a referral or two maybe of, of you know, some previous work? You know, with today's technology, you know, uh, for, for being in the business, I'm taking pictures of when I'm walking up to potential work or problems. I'm taking pictures during to document that we pulled it apart and this is what we discovered. And then uh, I'm documenting the finished product because what better way to tell a story of, of I took something ugly and made it beautiful again and, and it's desirable by people. Um, the biggest thing that I have come to find is referrals. Just as my business is driven by you know working with great people like yourself, um, is is getting referral for someone who has already uh, done a similar work, because um, you know hopefully that person who's given that referral was very satisfied, very happy with the outcome. Uh, did they stand behind it? You know, did they come back if there was an issue? Um, because you know, the, the, there's so many people that are coming up uh, and, and they disappear o o almost overnight. Um, so when when asking for for that, you know, uh, the accounts and relationships that I have with subs, uh, time is money in real estate. That there, there's no better business that'll teach you that. Um, so though I know how to do plumbing, now I know how to do electrical. I know how to do drywall. Um, I'm calling in people that that is their specialty um you know mm -hmm. i i've learned that drywall is an artist you know it's an artistry um flooring is 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 a speed thing you know that they can get it they can come in they can blow it out in a, in a day um so yeah so i'm looking for you know qualifications i'm looking for dependability reliability mm -hmm. um you know, over the years, I've come and gone with a lot of different subcontractors, but I've got a, a handful that I've had with me for years, and we will call just to touch base with each other of just things that are in the pipeline, and okay. uh, and and it, that's that's how we keep it going. All right, great. So, one, one, one more question. Sure. So let's say you do a scope of work for somebody. Sure. And they will say that the scope of work is they're forty thousand dollar rehab. Okay. All right. What is reasonable? I mean, you have to buy materials. Yep. So you, you need some money down. I mean, how does that work? So, uh, great question. You know, um, so in the, the, the business of being an investor and, and that I generally am not working with a lot of, of just end clients, you know, when they're personal residents. Um, I am working a lot more with investors like yourself or I'm working with realtors that are selling a, a home for a client and they just need someone reliable who, who can stand behind that's very general to get everything done on a, an inspection list or something mm -hmm. of that nature. So um, in general cases, like with yourself, if let's say that you found the house and your, it was your $40,000 rehab, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, because there's a relationship with you and I or whatever, I, I'm not going to come to you and tell you that, hey, I need $50,000, you know, for a $40,000 rehab. I'm going to have lunch with you and you're going to just give me a, whatever is available. We'll get the ball rolling sometimes. Right. Well, you need any, to buy materials. But right? I need to buy materials. But, um, you know, so with some of that, I mean, I my contracts typically say is that I'm looking for a half down, okay. and then we'll break down the the remainder. So what if uh, some not you, but another <laughs> someone else would say I want to get paid 100 percent in advance? If I don't have anybody like that, I have all my subs. Uh, with the standing relationships that I have, I sometimes have had. Well, I'm talking about the general contractor. If a general contractor tells you they want 100 percent upfront, walk away, shake hands, thank you for your time, but no, I, you just don't have business with them. No. 
because there's you could talk to someone else and they'll be able to tell you a horror story that they gave somebody fifteen thousand dollars and, and never, and saw, him never saw him again. Right. So yeah, right. that's um, why I asked. Yeah. No, okay. I, I I have subs myself that have done complete jobs with no money out of out of, to them at all. Um, you know, I have started jobs with minimum down. I have realtor business that I won't get paid until the closing because yeah. that's where the the, the, the funds no, are coming from. Yeah. Um, but if anybody comes to you with that kind of, of down payment, absolutely not. Yeah. So that's why I asked. Yeah. All righty. I think I appreciate your time. Absolutely. And uh, you owe me lunch. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much.